Welcome back to the Tech Bench. Here is a driver board from a Sansui 9090. I just want to go over a couple of um, rules of thumb that I use on these things when I go through them. <coughs> Excuse me. As these things get older, um, more and more people are just doing full rebuilds on them, and that's fine if that's what you know people want to spend the money on. I have nothing against that. But in this case, and in many cases like this, this unit came in in protect mode. Uh, a quick test showed the output ICs there good. There are no open emitter resistors, and the fuses were good. No issues at all. So that takes us over to the driver board. Now, Sansui, in their infinite wisdom here, used fusible resistors. And unlike normal resistors, what I've seen over the years on these things is they will drift considerably in value. So, let's say a 150 ohm resistor can be 3K, for example. And that is more than likely what's causing your problem here. Now, the rule of thumb that I use is if the outputs are good and these transistors here and here are good, then more than likely your problem is with the fusible resistors. And in this case, I just buy these kits. These guys put out these kits. They're dirt cheap. Uh, they have good quality parts, and it's, it's easier than me sourcing. It comes with uh, transistors, new pots, uh, new caps. Uh, this one's already had the current limiting mod done with a couple of resistors, one on the back. That was, I think, a Sansui service bullet, if I recall. Uh, and when you're all done, you get the joys of aligning it, because you get new pots with this. So, I'm going to plug this back in here. I'm going to show you real quick how to align it. What you do is you take, you put it on uh, on auxiliary speaker A, and then you just take your speaker outputs and your voltmeter. You put your voltmeter across your speaker outputs, and then you adjust left and right on the center two pots until you have zero volts, as, as close to possible, as zero volts DC on your speaker wires. Then when that's all said and done, you remove the two center fuses one at a time, and put your meter on um, uh, milliamps and put them across the fuse so your meter is actually measuring the, uh, the amperage of where the what would be going through the fuse and then you adjust this pot if your meters across that fuse and then the other pot on the outside here if you're across that fuse so when that's all said and done you want to adjust those to uh, I think it's 50 milliamps uh, on the 9090. Uh, when that's all said and done, then I generally go back and test it again just to make sure everything's still good. And then you're done.